So as many of you know, I grew up in a very Christian uh, family. And this is not to knock the concept that is Christianity in any way, shape, or form. You can identify as a Christian if you would like, and this is fine. I, I love you and, and honor you um, beyond that state of conclusion. But I grew up in, the, in this, in this um, family, and I would eventually become a pastor, go through two years of Bible college and four years of seminary, and church planted and pastored. And along the way, I, I was working so hard. I was working so hard striving, believing with all of my might. We even had a healing ministry at one point and people were getting healed coming from, from all over. People would be healed of all kinds of diseases and incurable and curable alike. And what always struck me was this. But if someone didn't get healed, I felt as if I didn't do enough. I couldn't walk into Walmart without feeling this compulsion that I must believe for someone that was sick, dying. I must do something to help rescue them. This, as many of you know who have grown up or been raised in a similar situation is exhausting. <laughs> I was exhausted. I had worked and believed and believed, not just for healing, but to believe in God. I no longer believe in God. Because at some point, the realization struck me. Christ encountered me in such a way that set me free from the concept, the system that is Christianity. Christ encountered me in such a way from the inside out, this word expression, this lagos expression, this Christ was revealed in me. And in this one moment, the realization struck me that in all of my effort to be joined to God, in all of my work, in all of my effort to be one with Him, in all of my effort to stay in this place of abiding peace with Him, all of those efforts never led me anywhere. I could never grasp that thing that I was trying to obtain. I could never get my arms all the way around it. And if I did for a short period of time, that's all it would be. It would be this temporal short, very short period of time, maybe a day, maybe two days. But in this one moment, I realized that God does not need to believe in God. God has not woken up one morning and thought to himself, today I will believe in myself. If I just believe hard enough today, then I will be myself. <laughs> you see, it's the concept, this illusion, this figment of your imagination that has caused you to believe that in some way you're separated from God. That in some way you are not exactly like Him, one with Him, a unique manifestation, a unique vibration of God Himself. The scriptures says that if any man has been joined to God, he has made one spirit together with Him. Other passages of scripture say the only place separation has ever existed was in your own mind. This idea that you are not like God, it was just that. It was just an idea It was in your mind. And when I realized, when I awakened to the reality that I am a God, then all of the work and all of the effort and all of my attempts to believe in a God that was outside of me seemed to melt away. They seemed to simply vanish 
They were burnt up in the fire that is my own spirit. And in that one moment, I realized who I had always been. And the striving, the stress, the frustration, all of the work to believe had vanished. And all that was left was abiding peace, rest, perfection, oneness, isness. There's not one thing you can do can't believe to be like God. There's not one thing that you can do to be like God. Because God has never had to believe to be himself or herself. When the beliefs melt away, when the thoughts melt away, the concepts melt away, all that is left is who you have always been, the eternal one, God. Who am I? What is my purpose? Is there more to life than this? Ecstasis Institute is relaunching this fall, providing students with the opportunity to explore the depths of who they truly are. An in-person or online institute where people of all backgrounds come to discover truth beyond any religion or philosophy. Awaken with us to your true divine purpose, being. See your vastness that you are both nothing and everything, the Christ. Realize that you are life itself, one with God, one with all things. We offer three paths of study with Silas Valentine, a mystic teacher and mentor who for the past 20 years has been guiding students into their awakening. Choose from one of two general studies paths, or if you really desire to dive deep, Participate in the mentorship path where you will receive one-on-one -on -one guidance and mentoring from Silas as well as weekly classes. To find out more information on how you can participate, go to ecstasisinstitute.org. Your awakening is waiting.